At Rose Villa, we have at, at any given time approximately 300 residents and we have about 160 staff that work here. So we are uh, constantly consuming and using products and disposing of waste. Our culture here is really unique. Um, both residents and staff really care about the planet. Uh, so we had several programs in place. We were already monitoring our energy use. Um, we were doing some good recycling. So when we had the opportunity to work with Clackamas County, um, it was really an opportunity for us to take it to the next level. And we found ourselves challenged to look at every aspect of our operation and see where we could improve. We were able to find ways to reduce energy. Um, in our mechanical systems and lighting, in our new construction, we went with a very sophisticated uh, HVAC system that uses heat recovery and uh, really smart thermostats that allow us to save quite a bit of energy and still keep comfortable. Um, our lighting system has electronics that allows it to be set back and optimized. Uh, so at night, we're using a lot less power to light our campus. There's been a recycling room uh, so that light bulbs, electronic things, magazines, there are, there's a recycling room that, um, that is completely run by residents. Another initiative that's been really exciting for our community is the adoption of a resident engagement tool called Touchtown. Uh, through kiosks and digital signage and a resident portal, our residents and staff have been able to get access to information that they use every day without us having to print it. We're excited about the drastic reduction in paper costs that we're seeing. Um, the last time we checked, it was about four cases a month we're saving. We're also really being mindful when we are expanding our campus and trying to remove uh, a lot of the plant material that wasn't uh, as easy to grow and required more care and replace it with native species that, that really thrive in the Northwest and they require less water and still provide a really comfortable and beautiful environment for our residents. Well, one of the major things, I think, was the composting project. Before we started composting in our kitchen, we were throwing away about a thousand pounds a week of food scraps into our compactor, and that was going directly to the landfill. And now we're able to separate those food scraps, and that program eventually caught on with our residents, and they really wanted to get involved. And so, in collaboration with John and the staff, we began to imagine how we could get the residents on board. And John came up with putting red pails for kitchen composting in the neighborhoods. Now that we're into our food scrap composting program about a year, it's been interesting to see the different pocket neighborhoods of our campus uh, grow in their participation and it's become almost a little competitive where some neighborhoods are a little further than others and they're challenging uh, their weaker brothers and sisters to uh, catch up. It doesn't have to be difficult um, and everybody can really participate at, at some level and although sustainability is something everybody wants to do, um, it was really helpful to me to be challenged by the county. And I would recommend that for other organizations who want to achieve their goals. It's kind of like a um, fitness coach. And we were able to achieve quite a bit in a short amount of time uh, through the partnership with Clackamas County.